Hello everyone, this is John Ruman. Hey Dana, how are you? I wanted to say hello to everyone and take a quick time to just introduce myself. My name is John Ruman. I'm an international business coach and consultant and my passion is to help people just like you to live a life of mastery and excellence. So today's live is about why you need a full night's sleep. A question I have for those who are watching tonight, how many of you actually get a full night's sleep? And if you aren't, I'd like to ask what's really preventing you from getting that full night's sleep. So if this is something that you think you should, if you're a business owner, if you are a entrepreneur, if you are a parent, what is it about, hey Gabby, thank you for coming on. What is it about having a short amount of sleep that makes you kind of happy about that. And if it doesn't, that's okay. But I would love to hear your feedback as to your mindset when it comes to sleep. Is there a reason why in your life day to day you are actually not getting the amount of sleep you think you should? And then what I'll do is I'll take a couple minutes to explain the benefits and why everyone should be getting a full night's sleep. And so, so Gabby, if you could tell me real quick, why is it that people may feel it's a good idea not to get a good night's sleep? I'll tell you some of the things I hear uh, as I coach people a lot. So some of the things I hear are it's almost heroic to not get enough sleep. It's, um, it's supposed to be hard and you're supposed to have a life that's super uh, f emotionally and physically challenging. And I don't know if anyone's noticed, but you're usually not in your best mood when you're low on sleep. You're also, your mind doesn't seem clear. You can't recall things. Your memory is weak. So a common challenge is people are not nearly as on as they could be. So ah, I love it to, pro to, to line with friends. Awesome. So, so that's a great one. So you want to line with your friends, hang out late. I get it. So you want to hang out, have a good time. That's perfectly makes sense. Any other reasons? Mr. Black Pearl, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for coming on. Live consciously. Great to see you, man. So what are some other reasons? I'd love to hear your feedback as to why people feel it's somehow rewarding in their life to not get enough sleep. And then I'll take about uh, the next minute. Tanner, good to see you, brother. Hey, Tanner, why is it that people feel it's a good and beneficial thing to not get enough sleep? So I'll, I'll, I'll let people come in on this. So, so again, I work with a lot of business owners. A lot of my clientele are business owners, either starting new or super successful. Uh, they could be executives. They could be running huge corporations or small startups or not even have a business started. But a lot of them feel and within their mind have a belief that busting their butt, working huge amount of hours is somehow beneficial for where they want to go. So what I would ask for you is what do you think is the best reason for that? So I'll tell you my, my primary reason why I would say this is not a benefit to you. Most people do not feel they have the physical well-being that they should. They feel that they're not as fit as they could be. They feel that they are too fat. They feel that they're too lethargic. They feel that mentally um, they are not able to be at their prime game. Okay, Gabby gave me another one because I know most people stay up because of anxiety. Interesting, huh? So, so Gabby, what would be some of the things these people are anxious about that is making them stay up? Is it money? Is it worrying in general? Is it the fact that they're unsure what's happening going forward? I'd be very curious as to what's going on deeper than that. So, okay, so there's a lot of physical issues. So your body, when you, when you don't get enough sleep, you're a miserable mess. And if this is you, welcome. If you ever meet me, on a day I don't get enough sleep, the wonderful loving John you see when you see my lives and when you meet me face to face isn't there. Um, but also, so physically your body's weak. You, If anyone here has ever been athletically competitive, when you're well slept and your body's well rested, you are better off. 
if you are working any sort of any sort of athletic competitiveness if your body is well rested and has proper sleep time or rest time you're able to work at a more proficient level another thing that's critical and this is probably the most important thing so again my primary clientele are usually business owners either fully successful or new in the business or somewhere in that spectrum and they believe that burning the midnight oil is the best thing they can do to be successful what studies have shown is if your body needs eight hours as an example and it's easy to test how much your body actually needs but let's pretend you've tested and you figured out how much your body actually needs and if you get 90 minutes of the amount of sleep you actually need you have four hours less productivity that day so many of the people I know and many people I've worked with and talked with who do this thing where they work late and then the next day they're dead two or three o'clock they're like falling asleep at their desk and then they have this dream of being super successful in the evenings good to see you miss williams they're, they have this dream of being super successful in the evenings by doing this job this this um this new gig that will be their future that what happens with them is they literally are so completely wiped that they are unable to be nearly as productive and help the people they're meant to help because they're so unbelievably drained. So it's a major challenge for many people. So if you have this, if this is something that you have a real issue with, I actually invite you on the 3rd of November, I'm actually doing a workshop with Dr. Nilash Ramnarayan of Ishtar Center. He's amazing. If you guys don't know him, he's an incredible doctor. The Star Center is a phenomenal medical group. But Nilash and I are partnering up, and he's kind of taking aspects that are his gig, and I'm taking aspects that are my gig, and we're going to have a very potent three-hour workshop. So if you need help with sleep, or if you know someone who needs help with sleep, I'd strongly encourage you to send them to my workshop and it's either it's on my Facebook events page it'll be on the bio by the time you check this out and you can register it's uh, 325 the prepay 375 day of and it's going to be exceptional we're going to cover everything from the impact of your beautiful I don't have any phones but your phone devices the the blue screen your computer your electronics in your house and the various they call it electro smog that you have. All of these things are impacting you, and we'll discuss that in the workshop. Also, exercise. Um, he's going to discuss breathing, some natural therapeutic um, uh, supplements you can take to aid sleep. So not necessarily things that are drugs, but things your body needs that will make a more natural, sustainable deep sleep possible. So if you're interested please reach out. I have a strong impression that this workshop will sell out and it's going to be awesome. And again, it's on the, a Saturday. It's in Val Park, 325 prepay, 375 day of. Um, if you have any questions, I'd love to see you. But the primary thing I wanted to bring up today's live is please be aware that Uh, my, my other one ended. Please be aware that you need to make sure that you are getting enough sleep so you can actually be productive and happy and beneficial to those you're meant to be beneficial to. So I wish you all the best and continued patience and persistence. Some uh, A simple thing, and I'll, I'll bring this up at the workshop when you come, but your body loves habits. So even if you can start a habit of, let's say you go to bed at midnight and you know you really need to go to bed at 10 o'clock. You slowly adjust your sleeping time 15 minutes. So you don't go from midnight to 10 o'clock. You have to slowly adjust over 10 or 15 minutes every day. And eventually that 10 o'clock time you'll be falling asleep, which is great. And you w eventually once you get enough sleep, you won't fall asleep in midday. And you can be the productive person you want to be at night. So I wish you success. Good sleep is in your future. It's important that you learn what you need to do to maximize your sleep. So I'll see you soon.